All right, guys, fake cop tries to arrest a real cop. Let's check it out. You've heard of good cop, bad cop, but what about <laughs> fake cop, real cop? <laughs> I don't know what bro was thinking. It's a relatively new channel. They don't get as many viewers as some of the other, uh, like, true crime, I guess you could say, niches. So if you want to see the original video, go check them out, guys, in the description. First link. This is what we have in store for you today. To begin with, let's introduce this 19-year-old teen who tries to impersonate a cop, but things don't go as planned when... Ah, snap. We, oh, we have already seen this. Um, I'm not going to react to it again. <clears throat> uh, it's somewhere on my channel, guys. Just look up fan of, like, impersonator, cop impersonator or something. For speeding, right. Brendan wearing jeans and lacking all... Together, anything resembling a uniform waved at a real Albuquerque police officer who was driving by. Okay, so here's a, here's a, here's a story we want to react to. The fake cop's wave caught the real cop's attention. Oh, I can't even see the whole text on the screen. <laughs> and he doubled back to see what was going on. <laughs> the dog's already the dog's already getting alerted, bro. Doesn't smell a real cop uniform or something. I don't know. Recording. Did he turn on his recorder, guys? What was that? <laughs> Someone let me know. Uh, I'm on my way home, and he's turning the strobe light on, and he's got a siren. He curbs two cars, and then blows past them, goes through a red, and then he's just using this little light bar on top here with these sirens. What the heck? I was trying to scare the public or something, guys. That's totally not cool. The police are already scary enough, guys. I bad. Uh, I just, you know, I've been arrested a bunch. So, you know, I get scared even though when I'm not doing anything, guys. <laughs> just because of the fear of jail. If anyone's ever been in jail, it's not fun. You're locked up in there. You can't, like, open the door or nothing, bro. It's very, uh, dehumanizing, really. But, hey, that's... I did do, you know... Not the best things back then. Who that? Yeah. What, what's going on, man? I was just driving home. I just got this thing off of Amazon. What thing? A siren. And I'm... you try and pull people over? No. Well, you followed him a pretty good distance. I followed him? Yeah, I heard he him all the way from more. 52. Yeah. And you tried to curb two cars on 52nd Street and use lights and a siren so they pull over and stop. You pull up next to him and then you blow past them. Guys, what the heck? Bro's got like some stickers in the back of his car and stuff. Totally a, a red flag for police, right here, guy. Right, guys. Because he works construction. Okay, okay. But don't they use official construction vehicles? Come on now. What'd you get off of Amazon recently? Why? Oh, he knows he's screwed, bro. Might as well come clean. It looks like he's not being resist. He's not, you know, he's not trying to make that many excuses. I've already wanted one. Look at him give his little smiles. No, you no fake uniform, nothing, bro. It's open and shut for the police officers here, right, guys? For what purpose? The PA system. To do what? Talking to it mostly. Kind of had a siren in it, and I didn't really know it had a siren. Look at him, like, making his smiling and stuff, guys. Here we watch as the fake teen cop... Even if he has a job, it doesn't mean he can have just, like, a siren and stuff, right, guys? ...confesses about him not being a real cop anymore, but it seems like honesty is not always the best policy. Find out why in the video. I was just driving. And I know... I was, Where were you headed to? In a grove. I was just messing with the, with the other... The different sounds on the siren because I live in a residential area and I thought like I don't know I should have taken I don't know I didn't know where I, where I had to really play the thing damn bro you ain't even getting a sore story straight guys <laughs> I wonder how how, my, how bad the charges were for, against him guys you think you should have went away for like six months to a year for this you, you understand okay so not only is it get straight up scaring the public brothers it's something that's just gonna straight out say stupid right you're not armed right no 
what happens if you try, I'm just saying, I'm not accusing you of anything right now, okay, but what would happen if you try to post the wrong person over who had a gun and who does not like police and he gets out and starts shooting? Guess what? You have no way of defending yourself. Nevertheless, that this is a crime for you impersonating a police officer. You know. Not being rational here. Also seems to be concerned for this guy. De doesn't mean he's not gonna, you know, get charged or anything probably, right guys? Is that right? I'm not trying to impersonate no one. Everything that is occurring right now yeah. is pointing that way. I mean, uh, I mean, he doesn't have the uniform. He just has like the funny siren, but... A siren? A, a, a siren is still a siren, guys. They just think it's like an unmarked vehicle. I met, can't mess around like that, guys. You might have thought you wouldn't get gotten in trouble, but looks like he is. It's not smart. Yeah. You're going to end up getting yourself hurt over something stupid just because you want to play around. This security officer named Omar Ford, driving home from work in his company's security vehicle, performs a traffic stop on a real police officer who was actually off duty. I wonder if uh, he got charged there, guys. Hopefully not. I mean, he looks like a stand-up guy, but... This is what happens next. The whole front of the car lights up with strobes. Yeah. So, and like I said, he was just right on my ass, and then he was hitting the siren, which I could hear because I had the top down, and he was like going through the different siren tones. No way, man. This guy's bold, bro. And I'm like, so I slow down, and I'm like, then he gets next to me. He goes, you need to slow the f*** down. And I was like, are you pulling me over? Dang, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's like, you need to slow down. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to pull over. And then I called 911, and I was like, yo, this isn't cool. So, alright. Did he get on the, he said he got on the PA. Did he get on the PA? Maybe he was on the PA, but he was next to me when he was doing it. Okay. So I don't know what the PA is, guys. What the heck? Yeah. Where was this at, Price? Right about here. Okay. Hey, but you got your ID? Yeah. Well. Do you have any firearms in the vehicle? Yeah, I have. I mean, I, I work with firearms. Where's your firearm at? It's on my side. All right. Want me to step up? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just step out. Hey, at least he's being cooperative here, guys. You see the flashing lights? It, 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 you know, and stuff. Especially if he's doing something like this, it's gonna activate the fight or flight response, right, guys? Just don't touch it, alright? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got signal zero, so we're just gonna pull him out. Getting the white SUV and everything, man. I already see enough white SUVs where I live, guys. That's fine, but this guy's going, um, over the top to, like, you know, basically impersonate. Imagine seeing him in like the holding cell. Oh, he, he's gonna probably get switched to his jail, you know, or unless he gets bond, bonds out. But imagine seeing him in the holding cell with that like stuff on, like the 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 police shirt. You think they'll make him like a uh, switch uh switch outfits into like a jail uniform if he goes into like the the holding cell, guys? Have your uh, your yeah. permit or anything? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, and as I said, I he was just going fast, and his car danced a little bit. I mean, he flew past me, so I was like, "Oh shoot, something! He's gonna get himself hurt out here." So I pulled up next to him. Hey, just just for our safety, I'm just gonna have you put your hands up there, and I'm just gonna remove your firearm before you put it in the car. All right? That's fine. Running not just one, but two red lights, this fake police officer is caught red-handed for reckless driving. This doesn't end well. That man went through two red lights. Dang, uh, I, I wish they didn't like switch in between like stories here. Because I, I, I want to know what happened to them. You know, if they got charges or not. What, how long their sentence was. Well, if, you, if you're understanding our situation, I'll be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bear Larson's company has another bar at Oasis. Okay. Hey, listen, I, I'm going to talk to you here in about a second. I got to get, get, your, get your partner settled in, all right? 
Damn, bro. Is this the same guy? It's a different guy, right? As what is a marine dive? Today, so you you have a payroll, all that. That's getting started today. That's getting, so you don't even have payroll. So how are you getting paid right now? Uh, we they pay us cash or cash out. Okay, man, that's a little. Uh, who who do you work for at the hookah bar? You just work for them? Yes, just doing security. That's all. As he called it that, it's called hookah bar. <laughs> he pronounced it a little bit wrong there. Okay, do you have a security license? I'm currently working on it. Okay, do you have 120 hours of pata? I'm going through that as of Monday. Okay, and you don't have a CCW? No. Okay, alright, just hang up. Because, uh, mm -hmm. my firearm came back clear, right? Yeah. Because it's never been fired. I mean, that's so as it come back clear as like if it's stolen or not. Oh no, I, it's registered. It should be registered to me. Okay. Yeah, we're just making sure about that. All right, I'll come back and talk to you in a second. Five hundred dollars later, and busted by Volusia sheriff deputies, identified the man as Joseph Mercier. He was seen by an off-duty deputy trying. Hey man, uh, uh, if, if they ever watch this video, just so, just some advice, guys. Like you know. I'm kind of confused. It just keeps switching every few minutes in between like stories and stuff. Do a traffic stop. Sheriff deputies found him and pulled him over. This is how it went. What do you mean? Like, I'm getting confused. I don't know if it's the same case or not. Because you're telling me you're swearing on your kid's life yeah, but I didn't that you didn't pull anybody over. I yet I had I had an off-duty officer witness that. How do you know? I didn't even know. I, I hit that. I, I turned the back seat to switch. It went off and I pulled over at the um near the um. The auto pod store, um, snowball, and I pulled in and I looked. I saw I was on. I turned the switch in the back. I didn't mean to hit that on. I swear to God, I didn't pull anybody over. I swear to God, I didn't pull anybody over. And I, I, put my, I guess the only time I went off, I went off, and I just threw it in the back, the back of my car. Why did you put the lights in the car? Just being an idiot. I don't know. I'm trying to be more important than I am. I wasn't doing anything to pull anybody over. I swear to God. Right, so when you had those handcuffs off, on, the only thing you want to. Have, Want to have done is have those handcuffs off, guys. In my opinion, be, be cooperative, be honest with me I now. To God, I am. I'm not lying to you. What firearm is in that? There's no firearm in that car. Okay. Airsoft, BB nothing, gun, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. I'm not going to find anything. You're not going to find nothing. Not any weapon at all in that okay. car. Hey, just uh, Willie Hand called me a little bit ago. He's like, hey, if you guys find that truck, I want to tow the evidence. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, yo, that's, that's happening. Okay. Tell me that's all it's um, for right now, yeah. Right. I'm not gonna find anything in that vehicle. No, no narcotics. No, no. Nothing Indiana. No. Nothing Indiana. What the heck? Marijuana. No. no. No heroin. No. No crack. No. No cocaine. No. Guys, you think he's telling the truth here? Uh, I, I don't know, guys. No Stem. Stem oh, here, here we go. For because you use. Crack. I relapsed. No, okay. I relapsed. I've been fucking using like 17 hands. Okay. Here, before we go, I'm going to count this in front of you because you told me there's about $500. I'm going to run to the district and do what I was going to take care of. And then 20, 40, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 20, 40, 60. Hey, he's got a lot of cash on him, bro. 50, I don't remember the last time. I, I never had a thousand dollars on me at once. 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80. This accused police impersonator meets a real cop, but things don't end so well for this once upon a time police officer. <laughs> once upon a time. <laughs> this is what happens. I'm just trying to figure out who you worked for. Oh, Talbot. The city of Tabitha? Okay. You, 
duct tape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just got your uh, like police ID. Yeah. Just put everybody at, at ease and we'll. Actually, retire from the cab. But you want to have your son. Police department. I was just trying to confirm his um, confirm he worked for you guys. No, you not. So he's no longer a police officer there. An off duty. Yeah, taken. Uh, it, it's quite, uh, I didn't know it was uh, this often um, done. Adams County deputy was heading to a... It'll it, it feel kind of awkward doing that, guys, like, because, you know, he's in a uniform and stuff. it just feel different, because it's not like a normal citizen in civilian clothes that they're arresting. It's somebody in, like, uniform almost. Freelance job when a law enforcement impersonator tried to pull him over. Watch what happens next to the fake officer. I was in my personal vehicle uh, driving to to the working off duty job at the fish concert at Dick's Sporting Goods. It, it just looked odd to me. I was not sure if he was armed, so I pulled out my duty weapon, not knowing what his intentions were, and uh, identified myself and then eventually detained him on the side of the highway. He was almost shocked and he began to say um it's okay i'm like you what the heck i always wondered what would i do how would i address the situation sure. yeah guys stupidity is something you can always count on to get you in hot water pretend to be cop is one of the dumbest things to do Max, for all right guys that's a video check out audit the world just wish they uh, edited it a little bit differently, but that's uh, it's still a good video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next video. Peace out, everyone.